hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the butterfly distress locks whatever kind of lock you know it as so i'm going to be going for the um bob look or the shoulder length but i think i went past on the length a little bit which is fine and um for this video i mixed the outre hair and the spring twist if you haven't seen my video on me using the outre hair you have to check it out because you might not really understand that because that's a more de detailed video. So that is the last District Logs video I made. So please check that out. So for this style, I, I think I used two packs of Spring Twist hair and one pack of the Outro hair. I don't even think I used one pack of the Outro hair, but I know I used more of the Spring Twist hair than the Outro hair. So for this video, I used my um, my crochet method. So I did the crochet prior before my client came. And um, in the middle of the video, you're going to see that um, I started doing the hair all over again. Like I did some locks from scratch. This is because I prepped for 25 locks and I ended up doing like 35 or 40, I guess, on my client's head. And um, I'm going to try um, entering most of the questions that are, um, most of the new questions that I've been asked on my other locks videos. And um, yeah, so... I'm going to also show you how I seal the ends. I mean, I've done that video before, but people still ask, so that's fine. I will show you how to do that in this video, so please keep watching. And also, you do not need heat or you do not need hot water or steam to seal the locks. I mean, I think some braiders do, but I personally do not. I just wrap and then just roll with my hands just to seal it. That's why um, Spring Twist is good. And also, I... That... um. Using the outre, the outre just gives everything like a um a more um how do I put it? It just it makes everything it it gives you this natural look. So um unraveling is in um it's a very 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 slim case in this situation. So yeah um and if you do not know if this is your first time come you know stopping by my channel, thank you and please subscribe and welcome to the family. And also, if you um, do not know how I um, make my locks, I have a video. I can also leave them up in the cards. And um, also, this is how I install it. So, But if you want a, a more detailed video, I also have more detailed videos on how I install um, the my handmade crochet locks. So this particular style took me about... We started by 9 and we finished by like 12.30. So... I think that's like three and a half hours or three hours. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I use this method because it saves me a lot of time and it's very fast. And um, it just, you know, it just makes me more comfortable because I wrap a day or two before my client comes. So when they come, I just install it, you know, and everybody goes back to their business. So guys, um, I'm trying to remember other questions that have been asked. But yeah, if you have more questions that I did not ask, um, answer in this video, Leave it down in the comment section and um, definitely this is not going to be my last lock video because this is like the lock season. People are doing locks. So if there's, you know, something different that I find or I um, or I do, I'm definitely going to film it and, you know, so you guys can see. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And um, stay tuned. I'll see you in my next video. Please, please, please subscribe. Like, I don't even know what you're waiting for. Why? It's free. Subscribe, like this video, share it to your friends, and God bless you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Yeah, before I go, I hope you guys enjoy the soundtrack because I've been making my beats, so I just decided to give myself credit for once. Anyways, bye bye. <laughs>